What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Uh, over here at Tyler's house, I was picking up the yak. We're gonna do some bass fishing this evening. It's uh, it's already getting pretty late, so we wanna get to the spot with a little bit of sunlight and maybe catch a fish before the sun goes down completely. And then we're gonna be tossing big swim baits all night. We're gonna camp in the van. The, the hope is to get our first top water bass of the year on uh, Mr. Chris Ellis's crawler because we love that friggin' kid and uh, we haven't caught a fish on it in quite some time. And uh, we took it out the other night to the same spot we're going tonight, but it was um, just not great. So before we go out though, we get some fun to be had uh, non-fishing wise. First, we're gonna run the drone and an RC boat around and then we're gonna take Tyler's uh, brand new crazy ass frickin' Evo out. So hopefully we survive this and I get to go fishing. Let's go. What's going on ladies and gents? We are at the fishing spot after ripping around with Tyler. We took a little bit longer than I expected. Uh, Scotty's on the phone. He just got his freaking paramotor certificate. He can now fly. Let's uh, let's show you a quick little clip of Scotty flies a lot. Arms back. Fly to your left. Right pressure. Slide left. Oh no, he's coming right at you. Good at power a little bit. Just a touch. <laughs> So stoked to see this kid up in the air uh, in person soon enough. But uh, yeah, we are we're at the spot. Freaking stupid birds are being loud and obnoxious. There's tons of bugs out, which I love. And uh, yeah, oh, we're already caught up in the net. All right, all right. So we got 
the crawler. The crawler we're gonna throw out all night. And uh, these people are getting off the water, which is gonna make my freaking day. So let's get on the water and see if we can't get us a night fish. I need a fish finder up in this place, dude. I wanna know how deep it is. It, this place is deep. I put my eight foot rod down, can't touch the bottom. Three hours later. Oh my God, dude, I'm so amped right now. First top water bite of the year, folks. Holy sh... Nice fish, guys. Oh, man. Oh, man, that's a nice fish, folks. <sighs> nice freaking fish. <laughs> freaking stud. Probably four or five pounds. Hitting the MTL, Mr. Tightline's freaking crawler. One of my favorite baits of all time. It's got me biggest, big fish pretty much everywhere. Oh, freaking crap, folks. Well, we're stoked we got the fish. But off camera, some shit went down. Oh, I dropped my damn phone in the lake right before, like, I was literally, you know, heading out and I thought I got a hit. My phone was on my freaking lap. I was peeking over with the flashlight, looking down to see if I could see the bass that I thought just hit and uh, my phone fell off my lap. So... I ended up stripping down to my knickers, as usual. It's not really the month of April if I'm not stripping down and getting in water. I should have recorded it. I didn't. Um, and it was an absolute disaster. Everything got super muddy on the way to the van. and But regardless, we freaking got the fish we were after today. This is the second time night fishing uh with the with the mola giller crawler huge thanks to chris ellis huge thanks to tyler and uh huge thanks to mr robbie taylor tonight was freaking awesome and um you guys all kick ass but uh i'm tired i'm cold my feet are cold i'm still like kind of kind of muddy and stuff all my freaking clothes are wicked dirty it's just everything is just grimes right now but I, I tried to wipe things down. My camera bag fell in the mud and I didn't even freaking notice. Uh, so I had to like go back and get it. And, uh, like the GoPro itself, the big camera, um, literally everything was so close to being soaking wet. It was like so close to the damn water. We got lucky. We got super lucky. Everything seems to be good. Some things are dirty and need to be washed. And, um, I definitely need a shower. We are, uh, we're actually camping out in the van tonight, right in front of, uh, Tyler's house. I'm so glad I bought an extra pair of undies because my wet ones are in that pile of shite right there, along with the shorts I was wearing. My pants are wet. I took my pants off to go in the water and they still managed to get a little wet. I don't even know how everything happened. As I'm, like, gathering all my stuff, my wallet fell in the water. So, we got, we got all the money there. Ugh, just a mess. Just a mess. But, we caught the bass we were looking for. I wanted a nice big bass before the saltwater season kicked off. Hopefully, we get a couple more. Um, you know, we also really want some big carp this year. Uh, there's a lot of things we want to do all the time. There's so many things to do, so little time. There's a gosh darn flying here. That's great. Get out of my van. I hate you. Put a bug zapper in here. What do you guys think? Anyways, I can feel the warmth from the blanket underneath me. That is freaking awesome. I love that darn thing. It's really nice having a, 
an electric blanket in here. I feel it's like better than a heat source when you're by yourself. Obviously, with a you know, if we're doing the podcast in here, there's definitely going to be a way to heat the van up without turning it on. Um, so you know, we're thinking a diesel heater. We could even maybe even use an electric space heater with all the freaking power we have because it's not going to take much to get this uh get this little tiny van warmed up in fact i probably would be fine if my feet weren't really cold from going in the water but uh you know i'm a dumbass so that's what happens when you drop your phone in the water just stoked iphones are uh pretty much waterproof these days and there's no cracks on my phone or anything Woo. It is 107. I need to um, settle down here, get into bed, maybe read a little. I haven't read the book that I started in a while. We blasted through Animal Farm in uh, this 1984. We really haven't started blasting through it at all. So that's because I've left it in the car. I haven't been reading it at home. And... Um, yeah, let's wind down a little bit. Guys, if you had fun watching today's shenanigans, please consider hitting that subscribe button, hitting the bell as well, so you're notified when we drop videos. Remember, there's a ton of new merch linked down below, so go ahead and get yourself some TOG gear. Get yourself the first ever Fishing Grubs logo, and um, as, soon as, as soon as we can, we're going to have another one out for you. I'm going to just try and pump these logos out as much as possible. That way you guys can get fresh gear whenever you want. I'm absolutely loving what our boy... Mr. Wheeler is putting together for us. So without any further ado, I'm going to get snuggled up into bed here and try and get some rest. We'll catch you in the morning. Good morning, folks. Top of the morning to you. It's like 7.30. I slept till 7. Guys, that never happens. I usually wake up no matter what, like 6 o'clock, but I slept solid till 7. Pays off to go uh, work your butt off on the water until freaking 1 a.m., I'll tell you what, <laughs> you actually can get a good night's sleep. Um, I've been having trouble sleeping lately, but I'm doing good. I'm doing good. We're having fun. Listen, whew, what a freaking night that was. I'm still so jacked up about it. Um, I laid in bed. I read like three pages of 1984, and I was like, I am falling asleep and was out. Uh book's great. I have no problem with the book. It's just I could not keep my eyes open. I thought I was going to be up a little bit longer trying to wind down from the night, but uh, nope. My body was like, you are going to bed, sir. Anyways, I'm going to get some Dunkity D's nuts and um, whoop, let's go. Oh man, it is freaking foggy out. But absolutely gorgeous, man. I tell you what, I love, love, love the springtime. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we're going to get some Dunkity D's for um, Mr. Tyler, who's going to let us use the shower this morning. Because uh, we were island fishing last night, island boy. Um, that was uh, that was our first big swim bait fish on the uh, Aquidneck Island. So really stoked about that fish. It's a special fish, and I think Chris might be even more stoked than we are. Um, <laughs> friggin' kid is jacked up. I called Chris last night after we caught the fish because obviously you know I knew he was night fishing last night, but he was way up in New Hampshire, and for him it was freezing cold. He was actually about to get off the water. But um, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I freaking, I had so much fun yesterday. Ripping the RC boat, ripping the freaking drone, ripping the freaking Evo, and catching a nice tank of a bass. We're definitely gonna be doing more of the uh, big swim bait at night dealies um, coming up because, uh, you know, when we're in this van full time, we could just pull stuff like that, which is great. I mean, this was, Awesome, a little trip, like two feet from work. Freaking good morning, folks. Guys, we'll catch you in the next one. Have a wonderful freaking day. Fish out.